Hi guys, Alec Pierce, Scuba Tech Tips here from, by the way, from Adventure Sports. Great dive store. Wow, you're going to see more of it in a few more videos over the next little while. Beautiful dive store here in Newmarket, Ontario. It's owned and operated by Jody, a, a good friend of mine for many, many years. This is a fin. Now, I, I'm, I'm going to guess, since you're watching this channel and you're a diver, <clears throat> And I'm going to guess that since you're a diver, you recognize this as a fin. I didn't have to tell you this is a fin. This is not a hammer, it's a fin. And, and this is pretty much a standard fin by today's standards anyway. And let's not go into the history. Uh, you can do that on my vintage uh, playlist. But this is a fin. You know, it's got a blade here. And most blades now are a mixture of, uh, of uh, natural rubber and, and composite. It's a big word for plastic. Uh, and, and they have a boot on this end, and they have a strap to hold it on. And this, of course, is a scuba fin, or what might be called a strap fin, or maybe a boot fin, whatever you want to call it. What it means is that there's a big pocket here, much too big for your foot. That's because you put on a wetsuit boot. And you put on a wetsuit boot while you're diving here up north or down south. Because a wetsuit boot, wet, wet boot, <laughs> the wetsuit boot is there for protection, to protect you. To protect you from the environment and protect you from the fin. Because this is not a toy. Listen. Yeah, this is, so you put your foot in there with the boot. Strap goes up like so. And now they have these fantastic quick adjustables. We didn't have those in the 60s, trust me. And they're just fantastic. That's about as, as, that's about as common, normal a fin as you can get. I want to show you some interesting newer style fins. I have trouble actually believing after all these years, I started diving in 1958, after all these years, they are still making new fins. It's crazy. Now most of the most of the changes, as I've said to you guys before, in scuba gear generally, uh, there's not really much that's new. But there are new materials, new designs, uh, new, new production methods, colors. We never had colors. If you like black, you could be a diver. If you didn't like black and all, you couldn't. Anyway, uh, so I can't believe they still improve on fins, but uh, they do. Let me show you a couple more fins. These are the fins that I use. Uh, these actually are not my fins. These are Kevin's, you know, from the color. But anyway, these are the these are the fins that I use. These came out probably 10, maybe 15 years ago. This is the Scuba Pro uh, Sea-Wing Nova. Sea-Wing Nova. Now, first of all, what, what's different about it? Well, first of all, 100% synthetic, super, super lightweight. Now, I know I've heard this story before from some of you guys, in fact, that, oh, I've got a heavy fin, a big heavy fin. I can get. Well, that's great. If you're young and you have strong legs and you want to use up your air finning, perfect, go for it. These are super light. <laughs> They're very, very nice. They also have a couple of nice features. They have a bend in the middle to keep the angle just right. Uh, you know, everything. They, they've done a lot of, they spend a lot of money. Scuba Pro does that. They spend a lot of money on research and design, and, 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 and so that's how it shows. The foot pocket is a great design. It's one of the few foot pockets that actually fits really, really well. And has a couple of other features that some fin manufacturers don't think about. A hole right here. Now, I'm telling you that that hole is there, so you can put a nail in your garage wall and hang them up. That's... That's the practical use. And that hole is, is got nothing to do with efficiency. What's that hole for? Right, right, Kevin. These are his fins, so he knows. When you put your boot, rubber boot in here, it jams in, particularly after you've been finning, because every time you fin, it pushes your foot in farther. I do hope I don't have to explain that to you. And, and so the, the, the rubber boot is jammed in there, and at the end of the dive, you have a heck of a time getting it out because of the suction. So you put a hole in there, pop. And one of the nicest features of these fins is the bungee style, really strong bungee style fin straps. So no clips, no adjustments. You put your foot in, pull it back over your foot, and away you go. And I really like these. One last thing, look at the size of the hole. Some of them have a little wee finger hole. You can barely get your little finger in. If you have gloves on, forget it. Totally useless. This, these Scuba Pro uh, Nova fins have a great big hole. Even if you have gloves on, you can put it in there. So that, this is the fin that I like. I mean, it's been out for quite a while. Now, Corey here at Adventure Divers has shown me a few more. They have that same fin in a full foot or for snorkelers, not necessarily just for snorkelers, but we'll call it for snorkelers a full foot fin as well. Notice the colors, by the way. Yeah, 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 they're pretty neat. Now, there are two more fins uh, from Skipper Pro that are similar. This is called the, the uh, 
traveler. Here it is here. This is the traveler fin. And Corey explained to me what the difference is between these fins and those fins and these fins. And some of the explanations were clear and I understood them. Some of them were a little bit... <coughs> Not such uh, big differences, you know, I think it's a lot of sales hype. The Scuba Pro decided they needed a new fin, so they made this one. But apparently it's a, it's a great fin for traveling. It's super lightweight. They actually show on their advertisements how to pack these into their own special backpack and put it in. But all the same features are there. Pretty much the same type of strap and so on. So there's another uh, similar fin that you can get. And then here's another one. This is called the Go Sport or a Sport Fin. Uh, summer design, and this one is very similar to the travel, but it has skegs. Yeah, skegs on here to direct the water backwards and, and to help you when you turn and so on. So this actually, uh, these little skegs uh, go on there and they're bolted on from the back so they can be replaced and, and moved around. So if you like something a little innovative, a little different than when your friends, you know, when I started diving, everybody had black frog feet duck feet, sorry, black duck feet, or, or they had rocket fins. Is it? There were two types of fins, one or the other, yeah. So, this is kind of, if you want something different, you get these with the little skegs. Now, everybody's going to say, if you know anything about boating, skegs are on the bottom. They're not supposed to be on the top. Well, hold on a minute. When you're finning, the skegs are on the bottom. Anyway, I'm not going to get into that with you, because the reason I'm here is not to show you those fins, it's to show you these fins. Yeah, look at that. That's a nice fin. I like it. I like it for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's black. Yeah, when I started diving, if you didn't like black, you couldn't scuba dive. Everything was black. It usually came in black uh, with a two-tone, with the second color was also black, and it had black trim. <laughs> everything was black. Everything was black. Suits, masks, snorkel. It was black. Everything was black. But anyway, uh, this this comes in black. I'm not sure if this comes in other colors. I don't know. You're not yet to check with Corey. But anyway, a black fin. And so what's the big deal here? It has those same skegs, see? Same foot pocket. Same hole in the bottom. Same hole at the top for hanging them up. Okay? Great strap. Everything's exact. So what's the big deal? Oh, no. Watch this. Now, you've never seen this before, have you? Bladeless fins. Aha! Bladeless fins from Skiba Pro. Think about it. <laughs> There's a lot there, not a lot, but there are several reasons why this detachable blade might be a neat feature. First of all, let me tell you that this is not new. Uh, the idea is not new. This is a brand new design from Skiba Pro. I think it's fantastic. When I saw that, I said, hey, Corey, and, uh, and it's great. It's great. It's not new. No. As again, as I've said many times, there's not much new in scuba diving because the same fin, not the same, but same design with the detachable blade was out in the 60s, in the early 60s. Yeah, at about 1962 or so, a U.S. diver, Aqualung, had a fin called the um, the Caravelle. Caravelle. Now, if some of you guys are following my vintage scuba playlist, uh, then you go back. I'll get Kevin to put the uh, picture of the Caravelle, okay? And, and maybe a link to that particular, because I'm sure we did a we did a video on that. You go back and you'll see the same fin, almost the same. Not nearly as technologically advanced as this fin. So why would you want detachable blades? Well, if you wanted to, uh, Kevin could take these blades off and go to the local dive store and get pink ones. <laughs> I don't know if there's different colors or not, but anyway, the point is that you can take these apart. Why were they? Why were they? sold, uh, popular, I don't know if they're popular or not, um, we'll find out in time. Why, why, how, were they, how were they sold? What was, the, what was the, the merchandising? Travel space. Well, a couple of things. Kevin's already mentioned a couple. That might be a lot easier for you to pack in your dive bag or in your uh, bag for travel on an airplane. You can put two pair of fins in half the size, certainly a lot shorter. There's the regular length, right? And packed up, there you go, half as much. So that's one reason right there. Secondly, if you'll notice, on the bottom of this fin, these gray portions are a nice, soft, gummy rubber. Yeah. So they don't slip when you're walking on the boat. 
You put these on, and they almost become like your dive boots, almost like your boots. You can walk around the boat, even if the boat's wet, even if the boat is rocking. Boats do that, I'm sure you know that. Uh, even if the boat is rocking a little bit, you, you have a good grip. Now, normally, you have a pair of fins on your foot. And you do not walk around the dive boat, not unless you're hanging on the whole time, because if the deck is a little bit wet and the boat is rocky, those fins are going to slip, certainly if they're plastic. So, so that's one of the biggest advantages. And then when you're ready to go diving, instead of having to slip them on and all that kind of stuff, you can just take the blade and pop it on there. This is not really how they're designed, because with this particular design, unlike the earlier Caravelle, these blades actually lock in place. That's right. You get a little locking clip that fits into that hole and snaps in there so they can't come out. They even supply a tool, a special scuba. Oh, look at that. Did you know there were spares in there, Corey? Built into the tool. I didn't see that. Okay, there you go. He did know that. Didn't tell me. Uh, so there's a special tool from Scuba Pro that you go in, pop them out. You can take the blade out. And in there, there are four extra of those locking pins. Probably a good idea from what I've seen on dive boats and divers. Uh, it, it, I think you're bound to lose them. Anyway, there's a great, I think it's a great idea and I was really, really excited when I saw them because I remember the Caravelles back in the 60s when they came out and they were pretty popular. There is a modern detachable blade fin from Skeever Pro, big name. Top quality, top quality. You, start, you say Skiver Pro, everybody knows you're looking at good gear. Anyway, I thought that was kind of interesting. This is a C-Wing Supernova. It comes with the tool. That's it. Great fin. Take a look at it at your local dive store. And don't forget, if you're anywhere north of Toronto and Ontario, Canada, drop in and visit Corey and Jody at Adventure Sports. Okay, talk to you again soon. Alec Pierce, Tech Tips.